know what time it is. Welcome back to the Rumors, Rumors, Rumors. It's my once a week segment where we take the latest and greatest celebrity rumors on social media and we have a little fun with it. Everything is on legend, so without further ado, let's jump to this week's Rumors, Rumors, Rumors. What up, Andy Appleseed? Y'all know who the trending topic is, man. Now, it's funny how Suge Knight got 15 years reduced from his sentence, but nobody reported. The one thing that had everybody talking was FTM Bay vs. Duty Low. It ain't over, but it ain't over. Yeah. Now this was something I talked about on the previous rumors. If you missed it, check out the playlist. Rumors, rumors, rumors has it. FTM Bay was jumping on her bed, celebrating. This was all due to the fact the case got overturned. <laughs> I'm literally so happy. I'm like, bro, I was literally crying, tears of joy. I uh, y'all. This was after she claimed Little Dirk's artist who goes by the name of Duty Low actually did something kind of crazy involving her son. But rumors, rumors, rumors has it she just got a new court date. It's official. They threw out the $11 million defamation lawsuit. Right now it's going down. Duty Low versus FTM Bay in court. She said she got all her receipts. Rumors, rumors, rumors. We got a new trial date, baby! Shout out goes out to Tyrese and shout out goes out to the goddess Samantha Lee. Rumors, rumors, rumors has it while in a lab, I decided to ask a few questions. I asked her, did she ever mess around with any other celebrities besides her ex Tyrese? I dated other people that were famous. Now there's something about Samantha we all love, but she kind of tripped up on this one. When I asked the question, was this before you met Tyrese or after Tyrese? She actually said, Andy Appleseed, I dated a celeb before your ex or after both. I've, 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 when I say date, I mean I've gone on dates with people that maybe, maybe considered a celebrity. <laughs> that's a, that's not so politically correct. <laughs> oh. Now I'm gonna set it off by saying, Matt Papa, you cannot beat Jada Kiss in the back. Rumors, rumors, rumors has it. While on live, Matt decided to call out Jada Kiss for a bar that he had. Play it one more time, cause then I'm like, Yo, I'm gonna make sure both y'all win. Well, that made me think like, oh, he, he talking to two chicks. Why would he? Why would he pay the rent? <laughs> Somebody tell me, why would he pay? The Kiss actually referencing the line. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure both y'all win. win. He said he's gonna pay hers and move into the condo. With him, let him keep the place. You move, and I'ma pay both y'all rent. But rumors, rumors, rumors has it. Matt Hoffa said, "Wait, whoa, 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 hold on one second, right there. That was kind of like a pause. I'm not too sure if he was calling him out. I don't, oh, listen, man, I some of these." Yo, yo. Now I can easily say he was just critiquing a bar. Or I could say you can't even critique that bar. It's Jada Kiss. I'd love to ask Kiss. I've been trying to get Jada Kiss on the show since 1977, bro. Like. <laughs> Like, I mean, hey, man, I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? Trending on social media as we speak, one of the craziest rumors right now was the BTV Savage interview with Vlad TV, the reason for his demise. In this interview, he did detail the whole situation. He said he was at home with his girl and his kid. Someone actually booked him to do a feature. When they pulled up, they brought the equipment in. One person actually came inside. The other person said, we need more equipment. They went outside. They was trying to pump fake him. In this spare moment, the guy actually upped the pole on him, told him take that chain off, what's up with all that stuff I saw you on social media with. So obviously the guy was checking out his social media. This robbery was planned out. But what this guy didn't plan was BTB Savage was gonna fight back. Now allegedly in this scuffle, some way, somehow he told his girl to get the weapon, she used it. This man actually tried to fight, but he ended up passing away shortly. He told his story to the police. The police said this was self-defense. He was in the clear, but he decided to do that Vlad interview. Now, a lot of people on social media were saying this was the cause of everything. In this interview, he was kind of poking fun at the guys who came with the guy. It is what it is. He decided to go back to the scene, take a picture, post it up on social media. Not even 24 hours after this interview was posted, BTB Savage passed away. That get back came back real quick. Be careful what you say in those Vlad TV interviews. Rumors, rumors, rumors. Now, we all heard that rumor from back in the day. The left eye actually burnt down the husband's house. She went a little bit crazy. This one is, right? But we didn't know the details to that, man. Rumors, rumors, rumors has it. Some details popped out. It seems like, allegedly, left eye and her husband got into a little argument. She was leaving out the house. A convertible picked her up, pulled off, but that convertible actually pulled back five minutes later. This was all before the house burned down. I was caught on camera. Allegedly, Tupac was driving the convertible, man. It is what it is. The house got burned down. I'm not saying he had anything to do with it, but he pulled her back up to the house and she burned the house down. Rumors, rumors, rumors. Shout out to Pac. Love a good Tupac story. 
Shout out goes out to Judge Joe Brown, fresh out of Crenshaw, graduated valedictorian in his high school, actually went to UCLA and studied law. He's no joke. The rumors, rumors, rumors has it. Activist Cheryl Lee Ralph actually called him out, man. Now, I don't know what's going on. She said when they was working together, they had the same producers. It seems like somebody was being a little bit touchy-feely. What made this rumor weird is the fact that she didn't call out any names, and Judge Joe Brown decided to answer to this. He said, hold on, this rumor right here is a lie. This might be a defamation case, Cheryl. Now, we all know Cheryl, she's an activist. She's not going to come out there telling stories, Joe. Come on, man. I don't really know how it went down, but rumors, rumors, rumors has it. Something went down. Now, we're not going to get out of here without getting into that Khadijah Brown Michelle, man. Rest in peace goes out to Jerry Brown. Did you see that live? Rumors, rumors, rumors has it. A scorned woman with four kids actually was upset, couldn't take it anymore, decided to go on live, confront her man. He passed away shortly after. I know you saw it, but did you hear the rumor of why it went down? She said she caught a man cheating or he was like bi or something like that. But we all looked at that video and said, wait a second, she had nothing to say about that in the clip, right? She was only arguing because he was leaving her, man. Come on, y'all. Rumors, rumors, rumors has it. She planned this out, actually brought her mom who escalated this whole thing to another level she put the camera down we couldn't really see the angle of what happened she kept yelling stop 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 mom was saying stop but nobody was really touching her he was saying stop hitting me this was a setup from the start come on khadijah horrible what you did in front of the kids rumors 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 I want to thank you very much for watching. It's your boy Andy Appleseed. Andy Appleseed TV is the name of the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe, drop me a comment. We got the latest and greatest hip hop news commentary by your boy Andy Appleseed. It's going down. Live stream edits, you name it. Hit that like, catch me in the next video. Peace.